Good evening, President Asperger and trustees. My name is Sean Temple of Belcaster Realty Group. My client, 71 South LaGrange, the landlord, and Andrew Grayson, an honorably discharged United States Marine, who is the tenant, have asked me to appear tonight regarding the lease of All Star Jewelry. To put relevant facts into the record, response to many miscommunications in the community, press reports, and the village staff. On May 1st, Mr. Grayson went to Village Hall as an excited entrepreneur looking for the right location to open his own small business. He confirmed with staff that his proposed use was an allowed use in LaGrange. It was suggested that he write a letter to Community Development Director detailing his plans. He did so on May 1st. I have a copy here for the record. As a point of information, pawn businesses are regulated by the Department of Financial and Professional Regulation, Division of Banking, State of Illinois. As such, they are required to be licensed, which includes background checks, an annual license fee, and yearly reports to be filed with the state. The Division, Bank, Division of Banking as regular has all the necessary enforcement power to regulate these operations. On May 6th, Mr. Grayson went to Village Hall and met again with the Community Development Director, con confirming for certain that the use was allowed. Based on this, Mr. Grayson started lease negotiations with 71 South LaGrange. On May 18th, Mr. Grayson filed an application for a business license. I have a date stamp copy for your review. The application was filed on the 18th. On the 19th, the Community Development Director signed the approval, and on the 21st, the Village Manager signed the approval. Mr. Grayson received a letter dated on the 21st that his application was approved with, and I quote, best wishes for, your success, for success of your business in LaGrange. Included with the letter was the business license certificate signed by the village president and village clerk. I have a copy for the record here if anybody would like to see it. To summarize the chronology, Mr. Grayson, May 1st, makes his initial inquiry at Village Hall. That same day, Mr. Uh, Grayson sends the requested correspondent to Community Development Director. May 6th, Mr. Grayson follows up correspondence with second meeting at Village Hall, confirms his business is allowable. On May 18th, Mr. Grayson files application for business license. On May 19th, license approved by Community Development Director. May 21st, license approved by Village Manager, letter sent with business license certificate, and best wishes for success letter. In closing, the Village acted properly and followed the code and processed the license judiciously. The landlord and tenant acted properly and followed the rules with Village staff. Now my clients find them, themselves the objects of harassment and intimidation for being good citizens and wanting to invest in LaGrange. My clients have an economic interest in pursuing their goal. The landlord has a lease that will compensate him $500,000 over the life of the lease. The tenant has startup costs and salary plus profit that projected over the length of the lease would be greater than $500,000. On June 12th, Mr. Grayson submitted plans for a building permit with the village and expects the same efficient response he has received previously and looks forward to a long and prosperous relationship in LaGrange. I'd like to thank you for your time this evening. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact. Thank you.